Today we're going to talk to you about whether everything you really need, the necessities, will fit in your van for either short or long term travel. If you like what you see in this video and you want to see more from us, please like and hit that subscribe button. Hi guys, welcome back to our channel. We wanted to talk to you today about how are we going to get all this stuff to fit in our van? All of this stuff is necessities, like you have to have it. And this is not even counting clothes and bathroom items. So let's talk about how we're going to get all this stuff under this one bed. Not a lot of room, folks. We tried square buckets and they just didn't hold everything. So um, we thought and thought about it and this is our smallest unit yet. So we've done a lot of thinking, a lot of research and we came up with buckets. This works well even for sewer items because these buckets have lids, which we just bought this one, so it's not put together yet. You can store all of your items, sewer items with a lid, no odor, under the bed. Okay? So this is a water regulator, also highly recommended because a lot of the places you camp or hook up to, the water pressure is too high for your unit. It can blow your pipes out if you don't have a water regulator. This is a spare. The one we actually have has a PSI on it. I can show you that in a minute. So this is a bucket that's miscellaneous, not used often. So it will go in the back with the sewer um, pipe and such that we probably won't need often. Next. This is our main sewer bucket. It actually has our cap that hooks in. And this one actually is put together so you can see how it twists on. We have the water, drinking hose. We do have a filter on our drinking hose. This is the water regulator we use actually has a pressure gauge on it. The red shows you what's too high. Also keep a level, just you never know. Because if you're in an off grid area and you need to stabilize your van, a level's nice to have. So that goes. Okay. We're looking at the power because I said whatever goes out first packs last so you want to hook your power up first especially in the heat of summer because you want to get that air conditioner going if you have a hook in and you're not off grid so electricals last I also have a regular 110 extension cord in case we want to hook up a fan or something outside Okay, well, a couple of things I want to add is that I'm the person that wants all the little things such as roasting marshmallows to being in the sun, to laying out in hammocks. This is a sunbrella. So basically, go to the beach or wherever and you can open it up and stick it in the sand and it makes a huge uh, covering that you can sit under. So that, the chairs, of course, I'm a neat freak, so we just got a little broom that's going to hang in the back. Little things like this are easy uh, kind of to store because you have a place in the back, and we'll show you that in a minute. Uh, but things like keep the mosquitoes away, all that. Where Amanda deals with more of the poop and the electricity and the things that keep us going, power. So, like Debbie said, she likes to have all of her fun stuff, so... We found a place for this thing. It's rather large to be in a van, but it will fit over into this little compartment. So that works. 
as well as the coverings that cover the windshield and such at night. It all fits up there perfectly. So these are Debbie's fun things that she wants. So they're just gonna slide in on top of the buckets, pretty simple. These are the leveling blocks. They also have a home. Show you that they all fit nice and neat. Of course, they're going to be ornery since we're videoing. Okay, so those are easily accessible when you first get to where you're going. This is a personal preference of mine. You don't have to have this. It takes up a lot of room, I realize. But when you do get somewhere and you're hooking up your sewer, this makes it really nice to get that flow and not have to be picking up your sewer pipes all the time. Goes right in there. This is like a last minute miscellaneous bucket. Oh, we forgot to pack this. What are we gonna do? It'll probably hold dog poop bags, things like that. We don't have those out here yet. I want you to come look at how nicely that fits. Still room to spare. Okay. So this is the broom and it goes back here and we've made an area so you can just basically you just put it up here and push it and it just walks right in and then it keeps it from moving around or vibrating during the during the ride. The trash can fits right by the toilet. It sits right here all the time. Never really have to move that until you want to take the trash out and it sits there with no vibration or anything. Of course, this is one of those fun things just to have. We just fold it up, put it right in here, so you have plenty of room for that. And then, of course, the dogs. They always have necessities, more than we do, really. And this, we sometimes we put it in the floor, sometimes we put it back on one of the beds. And this also. And this is just not while they're driving or riding, mainly just when we're sitting at a campsite or a place. We always keep these up here in the easy access because in a van you can't keep them in here or this type of van because the door would be shut if you open the door then you'd have to get out and get in they'd be running everywhere so we keep these up here inside so they're ready to go out at any time um, this model of a uh, Heimer van is kind of made for the two people easy without having to make out another bed because you have the two beds here. So all the linens and everything just go right on the bed um, and they just stay there all the time. You don't have to make your bed in and out and all that. Very similar to like a Travato K or any of that same floor plan. When you get into vans like this, it's kind of hard to, you know, that are made uh, by a company. If you get into vans, they can only make so many uh, different floor plans. So this is this is very similar to a Travato K. Okay, so then the last two things are these chairs. And we just put those right here in the bathroom. And we them up here. And sometimes we take a little red bungee cord and put around them. Which so would I, be that on the ground. At this point, everything is in the van. So everything's in the van now. And so one of the things that we got to realize now is where are your clothes? Well, there's plenty of room above the beds and everything like that. So that's all we've got left. And we don't put those out here all the time. They go, we just pack when we get ready. So if we're gone for a week, we know what we're gonna take. If we're gone just for a few days, same thing if we're gone for a month, it doesn't matter. All you gotta do is get all your clothes, put them above your bed, she has a spot, I have a spot, we're good to go. All of our kitchen items do have a home, right next to the microwave. There's a drawer and cabinets. So look forward to another video about how we manage food on the road. So as you can see, everything did fit in the van and we are super excited to go on our first trip out and share our adventures with you and our trials and tribulations. If you like what you saw today and you wanna see more, please hit that subscribe button, hit that like so we know that you like what we're doing. 
And if you have any suggestions, please feel free to put it in the comments and we'll try to uh, address any of your questions, concerns, comments. We look forward to hearing from you. Thank you.